Hey, what's up guys, it's Number One Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is another class setup video, and what I'm going to be bringing you guys is the best class, in my opinion, on the whole game entirely, which is the Bow 27. This is my favourite gun, and a lot of other people's favourite guns, I just think it's the best gun in the game, personally, it's like the new Honey Badger, but it's just like, it just feels so much better in a way, and so smooth. It's got the same sort of characteristics. It just reminds me of the Honey Badger a lot. And I think it is going to be the Honey Badger of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And today what I'm going to be showing you guys is the best class setup, in my opinion, for this gun. And this is probably the best class setup to actually get DNA bombs as well. So probably the best DNA class, uh, DNA bomb class setup to uh, use, as well as the best class in general. And I haven't had a DNA bomb yet, I'm going to be honest, but... I brought on closest whilst using this class. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. So, firstly, obviously, it's going to be the bow itself, the bow 27, and next it's going to be extended mag, suppressor, and stock. Now, extended mags gives you extra bullets in the magazine, which is obviously always useful, especially when you run out of ammo a lot easier in this game with you know the little reload trick and if you guys didn't didn't check see that video at all from me that's really really beneficial and in, informational um, video that you guys need to check out I'll leave a link in the description um, of all today's videos that I've uploaded so far and yeah so extended mag is really helpful plus you can take out more enemies before each kill because this gun does have a fair amount of like fairly high fire rate as you guys can see by the stats there so Next one is the suppressor, that's so you can stay stealthy, and once again, as I said, it reminds you of the Honey Badger, although the Honey Badger does have an integrated silencer, but it just makes you feel like, it feel, you know, like a boss gun, it's, it does, you know, make it a little bit weaker, but it, it's not too bad, I mean, at close range, which is, when you're going to need this gun the most, it's just insane, and it does have decent, you know, accuracy, as in, like, it doesn't recoil that much, so you're not in too much trouble at long range and the last one is stock so you can keep that mobility high and uh, you know strafe out the enemies and win more gunfights and without stock you're literally just a stand, stand in statue and it's pretty much impossible to do so yeah those are my three you know favorite attachments for it uh, I'm going to jump straight into the perks. The first perk is a low profile, and that allows you to be invisible to UAVs and stuff like that. A lot of people are using this anyway. It's kind of annoying when the enemies use it against you, but that once again, I'm using it, so why can't they? So, yeah, low profile is a really good perk. Gung Ho is basically a perk where you can, you know, sprint and still hit fire at the same time which is really really useful it's so so vital to get into get the first shot on because although you can't aim down a sight while running you can still hit fire and potentially some of the shots will be able to hit which will make them weak before you actually aim it down sights will give you an extra advantage and is extremely useful and the last one is perk free I'm going to use perk free greed and I can use two perks in that sense so the two perks I'm going to be using is scavenger which obviously allows you to start with extra mags and resupply ammo from your dead enemies and the other one is toughness and a lot of people can say that you don't need to use toughness but personally I've been using it and once I took it off I was doing awful so I kinda need to keep this on and the only substitution for that on here would be blast suppressor in my opinion or hardline when it is unlocked I haven't actually seen that in use so I'm not exactly the right level, level just yet so we'll see when that happens but um, yeah, toughness is the one for me. That's more of like a personal opinion. But these three perks are definite, are vital. The last one, obviously, there's no secondary. Um, I should use an extra ability. I have got an extra space, so I don't want to use. I probably use exo overclock, which allows you to escape gunfights. You're in a bit of trouble. Gives you extra speed. And the score streak for the UAV um, will be 750 points, so it's a lot. It's going to have um, a speed on it, so it sweeps faster, extra times, so it lasts longer, and the enemy direction. So it pretty much turns itself into advanced UAV, which is super useful and the closest you can get to a VSAT on this game, because radar is pretty much the go to go, go to go, got, I don't know, the go to thing, sorry, <laughs> that's what I meant to say, the go to thing on COD Advanced Warfare. And the last streak is System Hack, and I've stuck on the 
boop. I've stuck on the extended times, so it lasts longer and it, you know, pretty much just messes up the enemy's HUD, which is heads up display and it just makes it all blurry and hazy and it's really hard for them to see. It's annoying when you get it done, but then again, it is where it is. It's pretty much an EMP, but it's like it has a bigger effect and I think it's better. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the class. This is a non-lethal one, a DNA one. However, you can switch up the streaks. I've got another one, uh, which is exactly the same. So here I have the UAV. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry, my bad. You can, if you want to use lethals, I'd use the UAV. Instead of the system hack, ooh, instead of the system hack, I would use the uh, where is it? Warbird. And with that, I would put aggressor so you don't have to control it and the other one will be paladin which is a biggest streak in the game oops probably get rid of that and uh probably i wouldn't leave i wouldn't have any of it probably extra time maybe that makes it really really hard to get but once you get it it's really really good and uh yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button down below to show your support that'd be awesome and if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I have some awesome content coming out for you guys for Advanced Warfare and uh, you won't be disappointed with your stay. So, once again, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Have an awesome day guys and peace.